Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, the 10th of May. I still haven't found my vlogging camera, so I'm filming this on my phone, and I'm going to try and uh, do it this way. So what I'll do is I'll do a load of files today, put them on the computer, and see how they, they're going. Uh, phew, we've just got up. At least that way it we can have a weekly vlog. It is only quarter past six. I've got up for my breakfast. Ooh. A bit chilly it's gray and horrible out but it's uh, monday it's not start of another week let's see if if this will work i don't know if it will but we'll give it a try i'll see you in a bit i've just dropped jennifer off she was a nightmare getting ready today because she wanted to wear um her trucks pants so truck pants with trucks on them they're still damp because you can't tumble dry them they've got to air dry then she wanted to wear sharks they're damp. then she wanted to wear t-rex there in the wash so she had to have work ones with stars on it they're really nice and she was such a nightmare getting them on eventually she put them on she was fine but oh it's so hard and some, i just feel useless when this happens and i know i'm not it's just there being a three-year-old so anyway i'm just setting my laptop up for work i just feel that i'm struggling i do feel like i'm really struggling with everything and it's not because of lockdown and because that's pretty much over i'm working from home i love working from home but i'm just thinking about if we have to go back to the office, even for a couple of days, it's going to be really hard for me to drop her off and get to the office in time and then pick her up in time. And then when she goes to school, it's going to be even worse because school starts later. And I need to kick up my eBay game, really, and, and try and do a lot more there and see what happens. I mean, I've said to it, if necessary, Paul will have to walk her down to the nursery and she'll just have to deal with it because he can wear whatever he wants. He's not stuck to a particular time he can work nine to five he can work eight to four he went ten to six and it'd only be for a couple of days a week but we'll have to see what happens um when it happens i'm going to crack on now with working unfortunately nobody wants to let's be honest it's all right when we get going it's just mondays are so busy and we'll see what happens see what the day brings but i'm hoping this uh vlogging on the camera is going to work all right um, if it does, I'll keep doing it till I find my camera. If it doesn't, then I'll just put a note on YouTube and you'll see it. And then you won't see this, so I don't know why I'm explaining it. <sighs> anyway, I will see you when I finish work. Where are we going to put it? Do we put it by your, um, by your sandpit? Yep. Come on then, let's go and find somewhere to put your dragonfly. <gasps> That's why. Right, don't worry, it's just an insect. I'm going to leave him alone. He's not doing any harm. He's gone now anyway. Come put it over here by this dandelion. Should we, where should we put it? Should we put it here? There. Yeah. So there's a nice dragonfly that Granddad bought for her. Look. It does. You want to go back in, Jen? She wants to watch some TV. <laughs> okay, that's it there. Go watch some TV. <laughs> okay, everybody. It is the end of Monday night. Jennifer's in bed asleep, bless her. Paul's gone to bed. I've been watching some uh, Finders Beepers History Seekers. There's another channel I found called Forgotten Faces. And it's about... Uh, uh, he goes around cemeteries and tells you the story of one or two particular uh, people who've died. So not necessarily celebrities. These are just normal, everyday people who have died for some reason. So some of it's quite gruesome. So you did one on uh, people who had been buried alive. That was quite sad. I've been testing uh, some lenses. Well, I'm not testing them, but looking at lenses to try and figure out what mounts they are. Now these, I've got two Miranda lenses. This one, which is a 28mm lens. And another one, and they are a Pentax K, KA fit. So they're Ks because they're not automatic. So that's cool. Um, I've got a Pentax camera over there somewhere that doesn't have a battery holder, but I've ordered one from eBay. Should be coming sometime this week. So as my two Pentaxes don't work, the P30, P30 T, if I can get that one working, if it works when I put the batteries in, um, I'm going to keep that one. And I might keep these lenses. I don't know. I'll we'll have to see. But yeah. I'm going to make a video now. It's my first current chat for ages. I haven't put up to it. And I'm not going to carry on with the one I was doing, even though people wanted me to, because I'm just not in the mood for that sort of pattern. I'm going to colour one in this. I love this book. It is Pin Up Models. 
that's very nice. So I'm going to go and do that and then I'm going to go and read for a bit. I still have to edit my April finished books, my reading wrap up. I hate doing that just because there's always so many books on it but I might make a start and download all the book covers for the Kindle books so that I can get it done. Because I want to edit this one together tonight, so that's uh, the most. Because this one come up tomorrow, so I'll be working on that to go up for Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Everything's good. We're all fine. Jennifer's uh, sound asleep, and uh, sweet bless her. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. I want to crack on and get this video filmed so I can go out in bed and read for a while. See you in the morning. Bye. Good morning, it is Tuesday. I forgot to do this first thing in the morning and I am at work now. That's going to a training meeting uh, for some new database we'll be using. Don't know, we'll find out. Everything's fine. Um, Colour and chat's uploading, it's probably done. I'll check that before I go out to get Jennifer. Jennifer's uh, at nursery, she's fine. She didn't want to go this morning. She was awake in the night for a little bit, so I'm a bit, uh, but it wasn't too bad. And then at seven o'clock or just before about 10 to seven, she fell out of bed. She's pretty much got down the parameters of the bed, but every now and again she'll fall out. It happens maybe once a week. Um, so she came down with me then and we had a cuddle and watched a bit of TV with, with her together. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to go into this training meeting, which is fine. Uh, what have I got planned for this afternoon? I am taking fish and chips down to my mum, well, sausage and chips, uh, with Jennifer. And then I'll be coming home after that it's not too bad so we'll probably sit in the garden which is nice um i've got three orders to pack and i want to pull some cameras for testing i've got some recycling to bring down from the shed basically there's a big banana box that i had from the auction house with cameras and stuff in it i've now emptied it it's mostly lenses i need the cameras up here to test the lenses so i've got all the lenses up in the this room where I do my photographing and I'm just testing them. So I found two Miranda lenses, which are specifically for the Pentax uh, cameras. They got Pentax K mount on them, that's fine. Um, I better get back to work, um, cause I've got 10 minutes before this uh, meeting. Oh joy, I don't mind, it's, it's something to do. And yeah, I will see you when I finish. Um, yeah, I'm not as good on the phone as I am with the vlogging camera, as you can tell, I'm sort of like still, with it and we'll, and we'll, uh, we'll just see what's happening i must remember to take jennifer's boots we're out down with her so she can splash in muddy puddles if there's any or even in a, a, a washing up bowl of water she likes doing that as well i'll see you after work we're right back home from nursery aren't we jennifer yeah. we've got all the play-doh out haven't we we're gonna play podi watch my glasses gonna play podi right yeah goodbye i got this today i'm looking forward to reading this I'm going to read that, yeah. So what are we going to make, Jennifer, today? Um, back. We're going to play with the black podie. Yeah. You say hello? Hello. Oh, everybody loves seeing you, Jen. I Can you tell everybody to give this video a big thumbs up? Yeah. Go on then. Big thumbs up. <laughs> nice one. Let's play podie. Play podie. Hey everyone, I am up in the shed, as you can see from my surroundings, and you can hear the rain <laughs> in the, the roof. I've got three orders to go out, so I'm packing that, and I've done the top. I'm just bubble wrapping a camera. It's only a small compact, and I've got a pair of shoes uh, here as well that I've sold. So I'm getting those uh, wrapped up and ready to package so that I can take them to the post office tomorrow. So when I've done this, I'm going to have a shower and then I'm going to go upstairs and dry my hair. I'm going to have a quick look at my uh, drop and go because I know I need to put money on there. And I'm going to update my accounts. Um, it's not late yet, it's not 8 o'clock. I'll try and uh, list uh, 3 or 4 items, maybe 5 items. Uh, if the, the app's working, it seems to be working on my phone at the moment, but people have been having problems listing today. So I want to have a look at that. If I can get stuff listed, that's fantastic, I will. Tomorrow um, I want to come and get some more cameras to look at, but I need to have a, a bit of a, a shove around in the shed, which I will show you tomorrow when I do it. I can't do it tonight because it's raining, and um, I've got this black thing is Jennifer's tent, and last time I put it out in, in the rain, it got filled with water, and I had to empty it out, so I thought I'd just shove it up there. I can get to what I need for these three items. It's not a major issue. 
and that way I can just, I know I'm cutting myself off all the time, I'm not used to vlogging with a phone, I'm going to have to get used to it, aren't I? <laughs> oh, especially, see now I'm covering the thing, uh, especially if uh, I can't find the camera, but hey, I hope by the end of the week I'll be better at this, I'm holding this out as far as I can go. I do have a tripod which I could use with a, you know, as a selfie stick. I might actually try that <laughs> later when I go upstairs. But yeah, so I'm just going to get these three items packed up and ready to go. And I'll see you uh, in the house upstairs in the bedroom after I've had a shower and dried my hair. And I'll be doing a few other bits and pieces. So I'll see you afterwards. Okay, this evening. I have now had my shower, as you can tell, because I'm sitting in the bedroom. I've got my nightshirt on and I've got my head in a turban because I'm going to dry it in a minute. Um, I'm just editing some stuff together on the computer. It's a, just a flip through of one of the books I got with my huge bonus last month. Um, I have now put a battery in this camera and lens. It is working. I've put a roll of film in it. It's got a, this sort of wide angly lens on. I'm just going to fiddle with it. I'm going to roll, run a roll of film through it, see how it works. I've got quite a few lenses I can use on it, so I'm not too worried about that. So I'm really excited that that has worked. I've got a roll of something called Cosmo Photo. Um, if you're interested, go. It's got great you know, packaging. Uh, go and, and look it up. Cosmo Photo, it's called. Um, it, this guy's got a website and everything's fantastic. Um, so I'm just editing this together and I'm going to colour in the new Carrying Heaven with the polychromos as soon as I've dried my hair. So that's my next job. I am watching Dollar Diva. I know it is Dollar Diva 99 or whatever her name is. Yeah. So she, it's just her colouring book collection. I love watching those. Um, I will do mine at some point, but I'm trying to get through some of the whips first. I will probably do it in, in instalments. And the first instalment will be um, books I haven't coloured in at all. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Like I said, I'm going to dry my hair, do a bit of colouring and edit some of these flip throughs together so I got them up. Because I don't plan on filming now until Thursday night when we'll be doing a bit more in our pinup models. I'm just leaning back because this is really hard to do with the phone. I'm just so not used to having to hold it this far back. I will have to try and get my little tripod out. Um, I can get it really slow and use it as a really short and I've got to find it. It's put in a corner somewhere um i could use it as a selfie stick so i might try that it just means taking my phone out of the case and i really don't like doing that because jennifer's broke one of these one of my phones already um so yeah you can see some of my books and stuff in the look at all this stuff it's all that there's markers up here markers down here sorry going away that's the touch five the first that i had books books more books <laughs> It's just too much of it. You can see even better now. You can see the great you know, F. Scott Fitzgerald. I'm not sure what that is up there. What is that? Oh, it's an empty crisp pack. Oh, no, it's a packet crisp that Jennifer had. I've got to put it in the bin. Um, yeah, she, I went into her room and she's hanging, she was hanging off the bed with her head hanging to the floor. I thought, I've got to move her before she's going to hit her head on the floor. So I pushed her back in. And when I go down to the loo, I will uh, check it again. You can see some Judy Garland there in the background and some Valentinos. If you do want me to do a bookshelf tour of my Hollywood uh, and film books, um, let me know. I, I'll do that for you. Um, it'll take a while because there's a load of stuff down the side, but I have to pull it all out. Like I said, that's it for now. Oh, you know what I was going to say? I was going to say, um, with regards to monetization, as you know, I don't monetize my vlogs because they're something that don't cost me any money. Um, I know some people moan about ads on YouTube and they stop watching it if, if there's an ad on it. So let me just say this. It costs money to run a channel. I'm sure a lot of you know that. And it does cost money, especially if you're doing something like books, colouring or travelling a lot. Now, I do travel in, in this, but it's just something I do because I enjoy it. That's why I put anything related to that in here. Some of my book stuff is not monetised. Um, some of it is, some of it isn't. It depends. Um, with that, I... I know I did the Jack the Ripper one and I'm not sure whether I did the TBR. Uh, sometimes I'll just leave them free and then monetize them and then if they get any extra views, it, it doesn't matter. Let me just say this. I've had my first payment from Google actually today. Now, 
I was previously monetized before the whole Logan Paul thing exploded and they took away monetization for people with less than a thousand subscribers and I had some other uh, Google things going on. So from that I had £18 something. I had a payment today which includes that £18 from previous uh, right up until today and it started monetizing I think in October at the end of October and that was £71 so it's not a lot of money that we get for the ads on our videos um, so if you think I spent over £100 on coloring books on their own last month mainly because I had a bonus and I had an extra £100 as team of the month that's why I've monetized the account is to help offset some of the costs with buying new things to show you so I mean I know I'm slowing down on the books because I've got so many at the moment that I haven't colored in um, I'm sure in a couple of months I'll be getting more because it's my birthday and if I get money from my mum um, although I'm on holiday around that time and I might take it for spending money I might just buy coloring books I might get coloring book from my partner um, because that's I'd rather get something like that so I mean, I know it, it, I, I find ads annoying and, and I do skip them. If I'm colouring, I might just let them play. You know, sometimes I will just let them play because I know it helps out the, the content maker. So whoever it is, whether it's Finders, Beepers or um, Nisi on Dollar Diva, I'll let them play. It, it's it's a minute of my time. If I was watching TV, there'd be adverts on. I can't skip them. So it's when you get a long advert and sometimes if you know if they're like a minute you know 30 seconds it's not so bad that's how long an advert should be in my opinion maybe a bit shorter maybe a bit longer depending on the subject like for instance film trailers i'll quite happily watch a film trailer more than once um because i love films but when you get one that's six or seven minutes long because it's more of an a video it's like how to make money or do this or it's a music video then i will skip them because to me, that's not an advert. That is a separate YouTube video that should be classed as a separate YouTube video. But that's my waffle. Anyway, so that's why we monetize our videos. If you don't get it, I, I do understand. Uh, but it is expensive running a, a, a channel, especially if you're buying a camera equipment. The vlogging camera I've got that I can't find cost me 500 quid. And I bought that specifically for doing YouTube. And I can't find it. But it, it will turn up. I'm not worried about it. I look quite I look better on this camera anyway <laughs> I, I don't look so blotchy on this camera as I do on the uh, the other one so I'm, I'm not worried <laughs> anyway that's it for tonight I will see you tomorrow it is Wednesday bye good morning everybody it is uh Wednesday I'm at work as you see well in my room but I'm working um yeah Jennifer's at nursery I'm looking forward to trying out that camera later uh, as long as it doesn't rain. It is going to rain later, but hopefully I'll get a chance just to take a few pictures in the garden and up and down the street or something. I don't know. I'll uh, do some eBay today. Post my letters. Got to go. Okay, we go. First call done and it was fine. I got some emails in my queue to do. And yeah, I'm just going to crack on with the day and I'll see you later and let you know what I think of this camera. It is working. Uh, it's working as well as I can tell. So I've got a black and white roll of Cosmo Photo in it. And I'm just going to run it through and develop it and see what happens i'm actually really excited it's always exciting when you get something new to use isn't it okay everyone it's wednesday night i haven't vlogged all day nothing's really happened it's been quite a dull afternoon we've just been chilling playing with jennifer and watching tv i did do some printing today i printed out chibi animals grayscale by ava brown um it looks a bit funny and it is it's because of my black ink ran out before i finished printing it and uh, the newest one, which is Gnoming Around the World. I really like this one, but these are quite detailed, actually. But this is one of them in Paris. Which I think I've got one ready to, that I'm going to colour, the one I've decided to colour already. Which is I'm going to colour this one of the pyramids. Because I love anything to do with Egypt, so I'm going to colour that one first. And I also printed out a load of the uh, Deborah Muller freebies, because I really love Deborah Muller stuff. And I was using up some of my leftover pages from the end of um, the month. Because you get, three. I've, I pay for 300 pages a month, um, and I hadn't used them up. So I just used up as many as I could, I, until I got bored of printing. I've ordered some more paper, I've subscribed, I should have subscribed to got it monthly, but I'm getting it twice every other month um, but we'll see how it goes if I need to I can always order an extra one and, and change the subscription perhaps 
I'm not sure. There must be a way of managing subscriptions in the Amazon app. So, yes. Um, but there is no book this month, or this week, so I'm not going to worry about that. So it gives me a chance to catch up on No Men Around the World and, and Chibi Animals, which is great. I'm going to sign off now. I'm really tired. I want to do a bit of work in my Colour in Heaven book. Um, even though I've got the big light on, I can still see well enough to do it. I'm doing one of the pictures from uh, Fairies in Nature. I just got to find it. It's one of the ones nearer the back. It's one of the... Took me ages to decide which one to do. And I'm doing the one that's called Blown Away and she's blowing the, um, the dandelion clocks. I don't know if you can see it. And I've started doing her skin. Well, I've done her skin. And I'm using the polychromos. It's really, you can't really see how how it looks in this light. It's not... Hey everybody, it is Friday to wait on a Thursday morning. Oh, it's going to be Friday, yay. Anyway, I'm just ready to start work. Everything's loaded up. I'm just waiting for time to log in. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's good, all good. Just uh, got a cup of tea, got a cola, ready to start. Jennifer's at nursery. She did not want to get dressed this morning, but when she was dressed, she was fine. Paul's downstairs and he's got a meeting this afternoon from 3 to 4.30, so good. Rather him than me, that's all I'm going to say. Um, it's raining, so I can't really use that camera yet because it's too wet. And I don't really want to go out in the wet. Planning on popping to Newport. Yes, on Saturday for a walk round. So masks and everything and hand gel and sanitizer and all that good stuff. And yeah, so we're planning to go to, to Newport for a walk around the shops, pop in some charity shops, see if track marks open as yet. If it's not, I'm just be glad to see their bills in. I don't know what in there. Um, maybe get get a drink. If it's not too bad, we can sit outside. And then we'll probably see Paul's mum on the way home. Sit in her garden, if it's not too bad. Just to check on her, make sure she's all right. And then, yeah, so we're looking forward to that, getting out for the first time to Newport in over a year. Last time we went was March. The day they implemented lockdown, we went to get Paul's laptop and we had to go to Cardiff to get some stuff from the auction house. And that was the last time we went. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, interesting. I haven't been there for so long. It's like, ooh. Um, yeah, so that's it, really. Um, I will talk to you later. And um, we'll see what the weather's like. Horrible, no doubt. Anyway, I better get started. See you later. Hey guys, it is Thursday evening and again I haven't vlogged, but then it has been raining pretty much all day. So we've been watching TV and tidying up. Um, I'm sitting up in bed, Jennifer's sound asleep, Paul's asleep. I'm about to turn the light off and go to sleep myself, I think. I'm so tired. I'm just watching some photography YouTube and because I don't know why, whenever the rain's bad, I like to. And I'm also doing a bit of colouring now. As you know, last night I was colouring in fairies in nature, colouring heaven. Uh, but today I wanted to do a bit more in my Hannah Carlson uh, Seasons book. Um, and I'll show you. I am doing this one. And today I've done all the, the colour flowers. And I've started doing the her top. Um, but I'm a bit tired. So I'm going to stop doing that now and I'll finish that off uh, later. And I'll probably go back to the, the flowers in uh, uh, Fairies in Nature one tomorrow. And then I'll be filming tomorrow night. Another colour and chat. I still haven't found my vlogging camera, so as long as you don't mind, from now on, I will be doing it on my phone until I find it. It's just disappeared. I thought it might have been under the coffee table. We moved that out, say. Uh, no. Cleared all the rubbish out from under it that uh, is under there, which is usually Jennifer's toys. Put them away. But no. No camera. No idea. It might be up here. I'll have to have a good look for it. On the weekend, I'm going to have to come up here get Paul to take her out somewhere, maybe on Sunday afternoon, and I'm just going to strip the room down, see if I can find it. So, yeah, still looking at my grey hair. I've been the maiden, I'm now the mother, and uh, I'm growing my grey hair so I can embrace and become the crone. I don't care. I've hardly read anything this month, so like I said, as it gets towards something, you know, it does sort of dip off. I am reading Peter James. I have started the Marilyn book. I've got one on my phone. I couldn't open it today. I wanted to read it some earlier and I couldn't open it. And I might start the Stephen King soon. But, um... <sighs> Excuse me. I took Peter James downstairs and I've left it there. 
uh, otherwise I would have been reading that. But I'm just going to watch this YouTube video, turn the light off, and I'm going to hit the hay. I'm absolutely shattered. See, as the week, I'm fine at the beginning of the week, as, as I'm, I'm up here at the beginning of the week, and then as the week goes on, my energy level goes like this. We go, Phew, and I get more and more tired. Um, so, yeah. But it's all okay. It's all good. I'm feeling pretty good. Just, I've got to do my vetting form for work. I keep forgetting it. I'm going to have to do it this weekend, I think. I hope it hasn't expired. I don't know if they do. If it has, I'll just have to tell Sarah next week and say, oops, I didn't do it in time. I'm sorry, Sarah, can you get me another one? It's just so hard finding time to do everything. Still, I'll see you tomorrow. It is Friday. Hooray. Like I said, we are popping into Newport, so I obviously I'll have my phone with me, so I'll be showing you around to see how it's changed. I've been there for so long, it's going to be weird. I want to go to B&M. And I want to go in, I don't know, charity shop, maybe? Let's see if there's anything interesting in there. I like the charity shops. I'll let you know. Well, you'll come with me. And, um, yeah, I will see you tomorrow morning. I'm going to head off to bed now. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. It is Friday afternoon. It's just gone 12.30. I'm about to get something to eat, and I'm going to go and get Jennifer. So, yeah, I'm in a different place there. I'm actually by my desk, but instead of having my back to the, the window, I've got my back to the... Uh, wall of uh, Marilyn books as you can see up here and cameras are one yeah all my other books I've got a reader which are up there <laughs> um yeah there's cameras and, and mostly Marilyn up there yes there's a lot of Marilyn but there's two and a half bookcases full some of it over uh, this side if I can find it hang on where's it gone there it is these oh they're fan club newsletters from Australia, from the old Australian fan club when it was running. So I was a member of that for a good few years, so yeah, I love it. Anyway, I'm going to go and get some dinner, get Jennifer. I want to carry on. I just want, I just want a day to myself where I can shut myself in my room all day with a load of drinks. Obviously, I've had to go to the bathroom and get more drinks and snacks. and just spend the day colouring on my own in peace. Never going to happen. I'm trying to get through my whips, but hey. I will see you uh, once I pitch Jennifer up. Bye. It's Friday afternoon and we're at the pub. Yay. So Jennifer's here and Grandad's here and Paul's at work. So yeah, time for the pub. <laughs> You're running around. What are you doing? <laughs> 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 Uh, poor Jennifer being scared of her granddad. I don't know. Do you want some crisps? Careful, what's my drink, mine, Jen? I got two crisps. No, one's mine. Hey everybody, oh, it was lovely at the pad at pub earlier. It's Friday night now. I've caught the sun. I'm itching because I get this this uh, itchy rash. There is a, a name for it, but I can't think of what it's called. So basically, it's, it's just something that you get if you're fair skinned like I am, and you you know you get it on your arms and your hands. My mum gets it as well, so it's not surprising. Um, Usually I keep my arms covered up as much as possible. I couldn't today. It was just too hot and uh, I had to take my fleece off. It, just, it was cold when we went out, but it was hot when we were sitting there. Jennifer's asleep. Paul's watching Have I Got News For You. And I'm up here in bed because I'm absolutely shattered. I'm going to read for five minutes. Oh, she's off. Is it her? Or is it next one? I've got the window open. I don't know. And uh, I'm so tired because I didn't sleep very well last night, so I'm hoping I'll get a better night's sleep tonight. So that's it for today. Tomorrow, hopefully, going to Newport for a wander around. Haven't been there for ages. Oh, Paul ordered the new Manic Street Preachers album, which is out in September, called The Vivid Lament. They give their, their album such weird 
mains and the cover this cover is absolutely stunning it's a beautiful cover actually i will admit it's a lovely one so he's ordered the cd of that so that's cool looking forward to that he's ordered me two books on my birthday both peter james i'm actually reading peter james at the moment so i'm going to be reading in a minute when i finish film it because when we go on holiday we always go on holiday for my birthday as part of my birthday present we've done it for years um and he i'm just trying to think normally gives me the new peter james roy grace book which comes out around may every year now last year obviously we didn't go on holiday because of the pandemic everything was closed and due to the publishing industry being pretty much shut down the book was put back and pushed back until the 9th of july so i didn't get it so he's ordered me that one and he's ordered me the new one which came out yesterday may 13th so they will arrive and i will take them on holiday with me and i will read them on holiday which is what i normally do i normally read the the newest roy grace uh novel when i'm on holiday so he's ordered me those two i don't mind if he doesn't get me anything else because we're on holiday and he'll be treating me to uh mm. meals and such like and days out and stuff like that so I, i'm we're not particularly worried about gifts we get each other lots of little things and i'm happy with a couple of books for my ever expanding library even if i am getting rid of books that i'm not keeping but the peter james i do collect them so yes i'm gonna take my inhaler medication now and i'm gonna head off to read a bit of roy grace when i haven't read this is one of the early ones i think it's something like book four or five i'm not actually sure but uh, yeah reading this one dead man's footsteps is one i haven't read i'm looking forward to it my kindle app is playing up on my phone again it does this every now and again and it'll suddenly start working i hope so because i like my kindle app i did take some photographs with that pentax sfx that i put the battery in and yeah i'm enjoying using it so i love the sound it makes i'll have to to fire off a shot so you can hear it at some point it's absolutely amazing sound um well, that's film cameras for you. Not that I, I'm dissing digital because I love my digi as well. As you know, I love all my cameras, film and digital. But I'm going to call it a night. I've got a, I've got a loose eyelash or one sticking in my eye, so I'm going to get a mirror and sort that out. And I'll see you in the morning. Night, guys. Hey, everybody. It is Saturday morning. And um, to be fair, Paul and Jennifer let me have a lie-in. Because obviously I didn't sleep Thursday night, Friday morning. Um... Jennifer, well, Paul got up early because he couldn't sleep, and Jennifer got up about eight, and they just let me sleep in. So about ten, and then Jennifer wanted me, and I was awake anyway, so I was getting up because I needed the bathroom. So I've had a lovely lie-in this morning. I haven't had a lie-in like that for years. It was very nice. And uh, all dressed, I'm going to head out to Newport for a quick look round and see what's going on. I haven't been there for over a year. So the last time we went was March 2020. It's now May 2021, so it's been a long time. I'm, I know that there's a lot gone. Obviously, some of the shops have shut down, like Debenhams have definitely gone. I don't know what else, but I'll have a look. And, uh, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll see what's happening. And then, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting out and about a bit. So I'll see you later, and we'll see what's going on in Newport. So we're in Newport. We made it. So... A lot of people around to be honest. Paul's just nipped into Sainsbury's to get a bottle of water because Jennifer was sick in the car. You right, Jennifer? Yeah? Daddy'll be out in a minute, alright? So yeah, she was a bit sick in the car because we haven't been anywhere for a long time. She's not used to it. And it can be quite rough. So yeah, she's uh just there and we're just uh, waiting for Daddy to come out with the water and we're gonna have a drink before we carry on round. So yeah, walking around Newport, having a look. Been into the works, picked up a few bits for Jennifer and a colouring book for me. Because I'm naughty, but it's one I've wanted, so. Yeah, let's have a look round, shall we? So other than there, a few things have closed, but yeah, there's not a lot of people around. But there are a few people around at that end there's quite a lot. Yeah, but there is considering yeah. it's open. Yeah, everything's pretty much open, isn't it? Are you going to hold Mummy's hand, Jen? No, she's got a water pistol. It's got no water in it, mine, but... Uh, 
party shop's closed. They'll be reopening soon. What's that, darling? Yeah. Oh. Let's go and have a look at what they're doing to the market, shall we? So, so they're refurbing the market. So, just going to have a quick look round. Can you hold on his hand across the road, please, Jennifer? All right, Daddy's hand will do. Anybody's hand? All right. Come on, then. And you're rebel for a beer, haven't we? So Paul's got a pint of something very fruity but bitter. It's quite not tasty. Jennifer's got a Coke and a packet of crisps. I've got a Diet Coke, which is a big one. And we're having a few... We're going to have a portion of chips before we move on. I might be going to pick up some records and bits and pieces today from someone I know. Um, I'm just wondering where Griffin Street is. So I'm going to have a look at that, see if I can find it. It's around here somewhere, and it's where the trout mark's going to be. And I really want to know where it is. So I'm going to have a look now when we're waiting for our chips. <laughs> chips from Tiny Rebel, absolutely stunning. And they are gorgeous chips as well, aren't they, Paul? Yeah. Fresh out the pan, they're baking hot. So, yeah, absolutely stunning. Really, really liking this. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you, you. that's no, great. Cheers. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to enjoy this. Car. Back in the car. Paul's just popped to the bathroom and he's paying the ticket. I had to take the mask off, I was sweating cobs. It's so hot now. Um, off to pick up some stuff from a friend over in Ringland. So that's next up. Then we're going to see Paul's mum and then we're going home. You can have your dinosaurs when we get out. Oh, she, all she wants is her stuff. I'm hot. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit later when we get home and uh, show you what we got back home now and oh my god am i warm it is hot um yeah so we picked up some stuff from my friend anne um i really don't know what happened then yeah we picked up some we're home now we picked up some stuff from my friend anne um but first of all i'll show you what i bought which you'll see again in the haul if i do one either at the end of this month or next month i uh, in the works picked up some soft pastels i've never tried them before it's only a fiver um 24 they did have a pack of 12 which i think was three pound but i thought i'll get the 24 I know people like using them for, for, for backgrounds and stuff, so I thought I'd give them a go. And while I was there, they did have the tarot colouring book, or the tarot, which I've wanted for a while. I really like the look of it. Um, I might actually do a flip through. It tells you all about the, the, the tarot as well. It looks quite nice. Yeah, they're really nice, actually. So, yeah, I might do a flip through that later. Like I said, I've got a stack of photo books. That, oh, there's a few here, but most of them are downstairs. I might do a haul. Um, as well as two boxes of records. They were in one box, but very heavy. Um, some of it I probably won't keep, not because I'm uh, disrespecting it, but just because it's not the sort of thing I want. But there's a load of stuff in there. There's a Glenn Miller box set in there. There's a jazz box set in there. There's Harry James in there. Um, who was married to Betty Grable. Uh, there's, uh, I know there's a soundtrack for The Phantom of the Opera the Andrew Lloyd Webber uh, musical which I don't have so I'm looking forward to that so there's going to be a lot in there I want and some I'm not going to and that's fine she doesn't mind um a load of photograph books two print cases for carrying things in lots of printing paper which is good because I don't have a lot of photo paper and I want to print some pictures of Jennifer up so I can use that saves me buying anything and anything I don't want I can put in the bin there is a good monopod in there which I will definitely keep Anne is quite into her photography uh, but she's downsized and she just doesn't have the space. So I'm looking forward to going through those books. I'm going to find somewhere to put them for now before I read them. And yes, I might actually do a haul of photo books that I have just been given, which is really nice of her. There's, yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. So there's even a mountain thing um, that we, we a cutter to cut mounts for photos, which is really nice. Um, I'll have to have a look at that. I've never done that before, so it might be worth having a go. Uh, I'm going to put some of it up in the shed out of the way while I sort it out. But the books all come up here. Um, yeah, I really like that colouring book. But I will probably do a flip through of it. Six quid, normally nine ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. 
and it tells you about each card as well which i think is fascinating so you can learn about each card when you color in it which is good like the empress and the fool and the, the high priestess and the magician and of course the first card is the fool um but yeah so i'm gonna get changed because i'm really sweaty uh and i'm gonna get some of these books up here safe and then i'll have a look at them well i'm just having a look at them quickly there's a really nice one on cornwall which i'll i'll read that one first and take it to my mum because she loves cornwall and she can have a look through that one then so yeah i'll see you in a bit what a day my gray hairs <laughs> delivered a few bits to the shed uh, for further investigation later it's tea time now and it's beautiful so we're gonna sit out here and have our dinner and then I'm going to take a few cameras out and take them down to photograph. Hello, darling. I did the big one again. Did you? Yeah. Oh, good girl. In the toilet? Yeah. Good. Well done. I don't want to pee myself out. You don't want to ever pee yourself again, do you? Mm, it's too far away. All right, Mummy will sort it. <laughs> ah, the job of a mummy. Hey, everybody. It is Saturday night. I've left my water downstairs. I'll go back down and get it in a minute. Difficult. Everybody's in bed. It's about, it's coming up for 10 o'clock. I'm about to shut my eyes and get some zeds apart from that any more water. So we've had a look through the, the boxes of records. Um, we went through one completely. The other one we've had a quick look, but we'll go for it completely tomorrow. And there's some good stuff. There's some really interesting stuff. There's some stuff that I'm not going to want to keep. But there's a load of Glenn Miller. There's Harry James. There's Ray Anthony. Tommy Dorsey. Frank Sinatra. I love it. There's some soundtracks. Um, film soundtracks. It's got the uh, My Fair Lady soundtrack from the film version. There's a stage version of Oliver. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, it's also got uh, the um, original soundtrack for Aspects of Love. Um, and two versions of Phantom Opera, the single uh, album, which is Highlights, and the uh, double album, which was released. But the prize of it for me is the original 1981 soundtrack recording of Michael Crawford playing Barnum um, in Barnum. And I love that. I've got, the, I've got it on DVD because um, it's available on DVD. And this is the soundtrack version. And I absolutely love Barnum. I do. I love the musical Barnum. And I love Michael Crawford, so I am so chuffed that that is in there. Um, I've had a quick look through the uh, Walker Evans book. That's amazing. Um, I haven't brought them all up yet, but I will bring them all up tomorrow. There's loads of photo paper and stuff. Oh, it's brilliant. So I'm really, really happy. So I'm going to read for a little bit and have a sleep. I'm really hoping this vlog's going to work out well when I put it on the... Uh, laptop on uh, tomorrow night so I can edit it together. I still haven't edited my flipping book for the month of April, what I've read. I'm going to have to do that soon. But, ah, oh, what a lovely day we've had. Jennifer's sound asleep, Paul's sound asleep, and I'm about to be once I've gone and got my water because I haven't taken my medications yet. So I'll do that. I will wear my, <laughs> my asthma medications. I have to drink water after it because it's a very it puts a horrible taste in your mouth and it can cause thrush if you don't um, rinse your mouth after it all and vibrating. Anyway, yeah, lovely day. Like I said, I've got some pastels. I don't know how to use them. I'm going to have to watch some videos on using pastels. Um, I'm sure I can find some on YouTube. Bound to be. And, uh, yeah, I've got that nice colouring book. It's been a nice day. It's nice to get out for a bit, yeah. Yeah, I'm quite happy. I'm tired. Um, I'm going to go get my water and I will see you tomorrow. It's Sunday tomorrow. The weekend goes so quick. But like I said, it was nice to get out and see something different. We will be going out again next week and we'll have a bit of look around a few more shops. Uh, we've got to get Jennifer back used to being in the car because she just throws up if, she, if we go too far. And Newport's only seven miles away and she froze up. She threw up. We had the windows open, so we're going to try and get her acclimatised back with them being in the car. That's all it is. So I'll see you tomorrow. Night, guys. Hi, guys. It's Andrea. It's Sunday night. I haven't vlogged at all today. It's just been one of those days where it's just all got away from me. I'm just editing finally my uh, red books from April. Oh, I'm not going to leave it that long next time. Once I've deleted all this stuff, I'm going to start downloading the covers for next month's wrap up. Um, I haven't read very much at all yet this month. Like I said, I did say that it does, my reading does go down. I don't like vlogging on the phone. I find it really awkward to get the angles right. That's a bit better. Anyway, Jennifer's asleep. 
Paul's in bed asleep and I said I'm just editing this together and the reason this is so I can get rid of the little files because of course once it's edited it'll be compressed and I can get all the files from my phone onto here and, and edit this one. So you're getting two videos on Monday the 17th. You'll be getting the, the weekly vlog. Yay! And of course the uh, reading wrap up. And tomorrow I'll film my colouring chat. That'll be up Tuesday. So I do apologise. I've just been so tired this week. I think it's because the weather's all over the place. I don't know. But yeah, there will be uh, colouring charts next week. Um, yeah, I'm just a bit sleepy and well, it's been a weird week. Don't ask, I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed joining me. Even though we didn't do anything today. We only went shopping anyway. There wasn't much going on. <sighs> I will see you in the next vlog. Um, hope you guys are all right. Love you loads. Bye.